All right, it's weird but true. Some pets and their owners bear a striking resemblance. We've been looking at your golden doodle. No resemblance, though, <laughs> between you and your dog. And our researcher says he's figured out. Than me. Very adorable. Both of you, though. All right, oh. figured out why some people and their pets actually do end up looking alike. This is something I've heard a lot about before. We sent Matt King to find out the science behind this whole thing. Friendly, cuddly, um, approachable. He's always a little dirty. Trim, uh, well groomed. We asked those humans to describe the appearance of their dogs because approaching a woman and telling her Fox 5 thinks she looks like a mastiff seemed a good way to get thrown out of the dog park. But one Japanese study suggests those same descriptions may also apply to the pet owners who provided them. Very sweet, but she looks very tough, so people are afraid of her. That Japanese researcher found, given only pairings of photographs, test subjects could determine which owner and pooch belong together and which dog and human the experiment randomly combined. A following study took the same pictures, cropped everything above and below a thin strip around the eyes, and discovered 74% of people could still tell which pets and owners belong together. Oh, I think his eyes are much prettier than mine. Nope, not seen it. That researcher did not attempt to answer why we choose pets that look like us, but apparently through the eyes, everyone can tell. The eyes are to the window to the soul, right, Rem? He's learning. You need me to bark? Some of these resemblances may seem a bit rough, but few owners bristled or gave pause at the suggestion they might resemble their best friend. He is my shadow. He's a Velcro dog with me all the time. You never know who you might run into, so she's dressed for the occasions. On the Upper West Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.